These are the most disturbing cartoon theories, part one. Up first, Mr. Krabs plans to use his daughter Pearl to make Krabby Patties. This fan theory is not a favorite of SpongeBob SquarePants fans, and it states that Mr. Krabs is only raising his whale daughter Pearl to eventually kill her and use her for Krabby Patty meat. When a whale dies, its carcass can fuel an entire ecosystem for a very long period of time. And Pearl's mother is non-existent in the show, and it's unclear to how or why Mr. Krabs has Pearl in the first place. She could truly be his daughter, or Mr. Krabs could just be putting up with Pearl's crazy spending habits because he has a bigger goal in mind. This could also partially explain Plankton's role in the series. Plankton is obsessed with figuring out the secret ingredient to Krabby Patties. And while most ingredients are readily available, the burger itself remains a mystery. Whales generally consume plankton, so was this just a sinister clue all along? Next up, Ed, Ed, and Eddie are living in purgatory. In the show Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the boys and their friends seem to enjoy an endless summer with no adults anywhere to be found. While that's not necessarily grounds for assuming they're dead, there are many clues that have made fans wonder. Since purgatory is a loop you can't get out of, the literal loop the children live on, the cul-de-sac, is the one and only setting of the show. While there's no apparent year that the show takes place, both 1972 and 1999 are referenced in different episodes as being the current year and timeline of the show. The children's tongues are all green or blue, something that does actually happen to tongues after people die. Fans have gone into incredible detail with this theory, chronicalizing every character and what got them to purgatory in the first place. At least there are worse places to be stuck than in an endless summer with your best friends.